Hey friends, hope you're doing well. In this video, we're gonna learn how we can add labels on top or below a bar chart instead of having them on the y-axis. Let me show you what I mean. So for that, of course, we first need to have some kind of bar visual. So let me use, in this case, from my table here, from the orders table, for instance, my categories. So let me take the categories. So we can see here are the categories. And then I need to have some kind of measure. So let me go on here on a measure table and then select maybe for me, I'm gonna use the total sales measure, so total sales. But you can apply this to any kind of, well, measure you want. Now currently we have a table, so let me just switch, go here and let me switch this to a bar chart. Okay, so far so good. Now what you notice here is that the labels currently are on the y-axis. This is a default behavior, like drinks here, cheese and so on. But I was recently approached and asked, what about adding the labels on top or below the bar? Is that possible in Power BI? Well, in the past that was not possible, at least not that easy, but now it's really easy. And let me show you how. So at first we need to have two additional, uh, well, helper measures, let's call them this way. The first one is a placeholder. Now for this one, let me go here to my cylinder, to the data view, and then go in here, right click and say new measure. And this is just a placeholder, so you can name this whatever you like, but actually I call it placeholder now. Placeholder is equal to, and it's just a zero. So that's the first thing we need, so our placeholder. And this placeholder can be added to the visual. So either by, uh, I don't have the on object currently selected, so I need to go here on the side, build a visual, and then I can go in here and edit. Or what I actually almost prefer is if I'm already here, let me just drag it inside and drop it. Now you see that Placeholder is also added. We can see this on the legend. And we also see that the label, well, went down a little bit. So it's not exactly at the bar, simply because there is another bar, which is currently empty because it's zero, which is the placeholder. Now, so far so good. Of course, now one thing you need to decide is whether you want to have the label, because the label will be placed on placeholder. Do you want to have it below? As currently, then the placeholder needs to be below the total sales. If you want to have the label, for instance, strings here above the bar, then you need to switch those positions. So let me just drag this down. And now you see that the colors also change, but the colors you can always adjust inside the formatting option if you want later on as well. So now we have the label, so the placeholder above. Of course, currently we don't have a label, but bear with me, we just need to go here on a data and create another measure. So let me right click here and say a new measure. And this measure is now our label. The label itself. And we can actually add any kind of text we want. Um, you can also combine, for instance, the label itself with the current number, so which, which the bar is, so in this case 251,000 and so on. This could also be done. But for now, let's stick to the simple option and just choose the label and say this is the label and this is equal to the selected value, selected value function. And in here, I would like to have, in this case, my category. So category from my orders table, this one here. So let me close this and we are good to go. So this is just the selected value, so the current option, which is selected inside our visual. So in this case, for the category, it would here would be cheese, here condiments, here cookies, and so on. And of course, if you have a different X on the label, just choose here the specific Y axis you currently have in the view. So, or, so far so good, let me just check this now, the label. Okay, and now we get also our label. Now, the actual thing we need to do is we need to go to the formatting option. Now, if I click here, I see already a few of them, but they are not enough, I need more. So let me go to more options here and then go here to the site. Of course, you could also click directly here if you wanna do. So we need to check for the data labels here. The data labels are currently off, so let's turn them on first. Now you see that this is where the zero was hidden all the time. You see that it's currently doesn't show a bar because it's zero, but it's still there. And here's the original value, the 251K, 114K and so on. Now for the data labels, we always have the option in Power BI to specify what kind of series do we currently want to format. And with series, they just mean here all the measures we have. So do we want to change the placeholder or the total sales regarding the labels? Now, of course, we want to change the placeholder because we do not want to see the 0K in here, right? Here, we would like to see actually cheese or condiments or cookies and so on. So that's why we just go to placeholder here. And then instead of using the default data labels, we just go down there and use a custom label. 
So if you turn custom label on here, click on on, you see that now the default one is actually uh, or disappeared because now we need to add some data here to this field area in order to add the label here. So, and that's why I said you can actually add anything here. It could also be the number here, for instance, 251K, that could be a label, or cheese including the 251K, or cheese and the 251K as a percentage figure of the total sales, everything would be possible. But for now, let's just stick to the measure we have built. So go here, add, and then we just need to search for label. So if I go with label, you see that there's my label measure. I can tick this option, and now you see that here we have the label above the bar chart. And of course we can format this further, so I can make this bold. I can also make it bigger if I want, like this, right? So it's just adjust it the way you want it. And then of course we want to get rid of the y-axis. So let me also go up to the y-axis here, take this option and say just turn the values off because we do not need them anymore. And now we have here the categories above the bar chart. And as I said, if you want to have them below, that would also work. You just need to switch around the order. So if you go back inside the visual option here and just drag the placeholder below the total sales, then you would see that now it switches here and now the label is below the, the bar chart. It's up to you whether you want to place it above or below. And as I said, always the legend will change, but the color itself can be always adjusted if you go to the formatting option and then play around with data colors. The only thing I'd like to mention here also is it doesn't make sense then to show the legend. So probably the legend, you want to turn this off. Uh, but beside this, this is how you can actually then add the label above or as I said, below the chart. It depends on what you need. But that's it actually for this little trick. So with this new option, uh, so the formatting option we have in here, the custom label or the custom format, which you can add if you scroll down. So on this here, this allows a lot of new flexibility. And now I want to encourage you, try this out yourself. And maybe you have a use case similar to this one, uh, then of course now you need to uh, know how to fix it. So thanks a lot for watching and hopefully see you in the next video. Until then, best guys.